Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I'm in the kitchen today, <laughs> as usual. So why don't you join me in the kitchen and let's make some food. Aren't you excited? Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm so glad you're in the kitchen with me because we're gonna make some food. <laughs> yes, we are. Look what I have here. I've got some parchment paper, uh, a nice little pan, and more importantly, I have this brioche bread that my daughter gave me. Now, brioche bread is good, it's tasty, it's delicious, but it's more cake-like, it's not as sturdy as other bread, and it doesn't make a good sandwich. I think it makes good toast and other things. So I want to use this up. I'm going to make some good old-fashioned bread pudding today. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I've cubed the bread. So you can see it's quite a little bit. And uh, I've got my oven turned to 200 degrees. And when that comes to heat, I'm going to turn the oven off because I'm going to put the the uh, brioche bread cubes in on this uh, sheet here and I'm going to dry it out. So every once in a while I'll give it a little stir. I'm not in a rush about it, but I don't, the reason I'm turning the heat off in the oven is because I don't want these to toast necessarily. I just want them to dry out. So got my parchment paper here. That's quite a little bit. I probably could have had a bigger pan, but that's okay. Uh, bread pudding can be made from any, any leftover bread, stale bread, bread that's dried out, bread that's not quite, you know, um, for sandwiches or whatever. So I'm not putting anything on this. It's just in this pan and I'm just going to dry it out and, um, when it's all dried out, we're going to come back and we're going to make our bread pudding. Okay, our brioche is all dried. Now you see it's not toasted. It's just dried out. And it's very dried. That's the best uh, way to use bread for your bread pudding is to make sure that it's very dry uh, sometimes even just a little beyond stale, dry. So that's what I do. It's an easy way to do it. And um, it's no, <laughs> you don't have to watch it. When you do use my method, you don't have to watch it or worry about it getting burned. Okay? All right, what I have here is <clears throat> the other ingredients that are going to go into the bread pudding. In this bowl, is one cup of sugar, see the sugar, and two cups of milk. I'm going to add in a teaspoon or two of vanilla, because that's pretty tasty. Let's go with two. And I'm going to add in some cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is just to taste. It's whatever you like. You can also add cinnamon and nutmeg if you want to. I think I'm going to put a smidge more. You know how much a smidge is, don't you? <laughs> sure you do. And I've got two eggs. Now, I could beat this with uh, the mixer, but I think I'm just going to use one of these whisks and I'm going to whisk it like that to make sure that my eggs and sugar etc are well incorporated. Basically what I'm doing is I am making I'm making a custard to pour over the the uh, dried bread. So I'm going to get this mixed up and then we'll be back. The sugar is quite thick on the bottom so I've hauled out the mixer and I'm just going to use my mixer. Okay, that's pretty good. 
So now we're going to pour it over the bread. Now remember, I'm only working with a half a loaf of the brioche. I'm glad I used the mixer because there's no way I would have been able to dissolve all that sugar. <laughs> well, it would have taken a while. Let's put it like that. So, now, I'm going to get this mixed up, but I'm going to let this set for a minute or two because I need these, um, this toasted bread, the dry, excuse me, the, the uh, dried bread to soak up some of this, this liquid. Now, what I've done is, I've got some raisins that were given to me that I'm, I soaked in some hot water, just hot tap water, and I have some walnuts that was given to me for, um, and I just crushed them a little bit. I just use my my little mallet and I crush them in the bowl and we're going to put those in as well. There you go. You see how that's soaked a lot of that up? That is awesome. Now I'm going to add in my raisins and you don't have to soften the raisins, but I don't know. It's just nice. <laughs> I'm going to mix this all up. Now, I buttered a dish, a baking dish, and I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. <clears throat> this is going to go in. I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes, and then at 40 minutes, I will check it. Um, I'd like to give you a specific time, but I can't. Uh, when a knife goes in the center, like a table knife goes in the center and comes out clean, it's done. So, let's get this in there. I was hoping that my dish would be the right size. You never know. But, experience coupled with uh, a lot of failure <laughs> told me that this might be the right size. Now, bread pudding, when you bake it, it puffs up. And then when you take it out of the oven... It will fall. It will kind of unpuff. So, this is what I like to do when I make bread pudding. Uh, I like to take a little bit of sugar and I like to sprinkle it on the top before it's baking. And it just puts a little crispy crust on the top and it's, it's lovely. It is awesome. So, this is an old-fashioned, very old-fashioned. Uh, bread pudding has been around for a very, very long time, uh, long before you or I, and uh, it has always been a way to make a beautiful dessert um, or even breakfast out of stale leftover bread. So if you say, well, I never have enough bread left over, you know, sometimes you have ends and pieces, just put it in a freezer bag, Stick it in the freezer, and then when you get a bag full, make some bread pudding. All right, we'll come back when this is done. Okay, it's been in for 40 minutes. Let's see what we've got. That looks good. See, the knife in the center comes out clean. It's pretty awesome. Give you a, a close-up. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm excited. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, and like I said, it, it may sink, that's fine. Now, I wanted to mention to you that this bread pudding, in its basic form of uh, dried stale bread, cinnamon, milk, sugar, eggs, that is a basic recipe, or method, I should say, for bread pudding. Now then, Bread pudding lends itself to any flavors you want to add. For example, if you want to add nutmeg and cinnamon, you can. It, uh, it You can add any flavorings you want. Instead of um, vanilla extract, you can do almond extract. You can add any 
uh, additions you want. Any dried fruit you like. Uh, you can add coconut and rum and make a rum sauce for it. It would be delicious. You can add uh, bits of dried pineapple to it and turn it into more of a tropical thing. Banana, pineapple, a tropical dried fruit mix. You can use that. Uh, you can um, use um, chocolate chips. <laughs> you can put anything in a bread pudding that you desire. Also, bread pudding lends itself well to ice cream, whipped cream, just a drizzle of um, cream over the top. It lends itself to a vanilla sauce, a rum sauce, a lemon sauce, and also, for example, this has walnuts and raisins. It would be delicious with a caramel sauce. So, uh, bread pudding can be humble in its, in its original state, or it can be elegant. And it just depends on what you like. Isn't that awesome? So, I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes, and then I'm going to dip some up with my big silver spoon, and I'm going to give it a taste. All right, let's dish some of this up. See what it looks like. Also, this would be good with a little bit of a drizzle of white frosting glaze. That would be good too. It looks really good. It looks nice and moist and delicious. All right. Still quite hot. Mmm. 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 That's good. It's got a little crunch on the top. And it's nice and soft and moist on the bottom. I can taste the raisins. They're soft and those delicious walnuts. Mmm. Mmm. So very, very good. I hope you'll give this a try. It is very wonderful. And it's a good way to use what you have in the house. Use what you have left. It's very, very beautiful. And it's old-fashioned. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. You know I do. It's always little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right. You have a beautiful day. Be blessed, and I will see you on Wednesday uh, for a grocery haul. <laughs> we will see, but I'll see you on Wednesday anyway. All right, love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.